Welcome back to the Chess Football World Cup. Uh, the 2023 edition in in in, uh, in England. Even though the what? No, we don't have a sponsor. And, and it's canceled. <laughs> no, and, and it's canceled. We don't have a sponsor. No, it, it, it's hosting. Shut up. It's hosting in England. Even though, but the hilarious thing is, England crashed out of the first round. It's hilarious. So, uh, here's the current tape bracket. So the final is France against the Netherlands. So uh, France, uh, okay, you don't need to notice. They already, you, I already went through this in like the first few episodes. So the kickoff decider this time is. Uh, well, whatever. France's skills that they can move farther. They can move their pieces farther. And Netherlands' skills that is that they have one extra dice for tackle. Or if you put on if the viewers too late to actually watch. Oh, shut up! You suck. Okay, so kick off the kick off decider is that one to three, we gotta roll dice. One to three is France, four to six is Netherlands. The first number to appear twice is the one that decides the kickoff. Two, six, two. And it looks like France is going to get kickoff. It's the number three is the first one to appear twice. Wait, let, uh, hang on, let, let me get some epic music going. <laughs> yeah, we can get some epic music going. Uh, Alright, so you can, as you can see here, uh, uh, France are moving their defensive pieces into position. So, uh, uh, Netherlands do have a goal kick now, 
and the Netherlands are setting up their pieces on like a little horizontal line. The goal kick is successful. Shut stop whistling! And as I was saying, it is a successful goal kick, and the Netherlands are now lining up their pieces in like a straight line, like a train. Do you not even know the combinations? Well, they're lining their pieces up in a straight line. They're doing the conga. Pog passes a bishop. Bishop passes queen. They're just passing in a Congo line now. A queen passes to Van Kite. And uh and Van Kite shoots and misses again. So the Netherlands appeal it appears that the Netherlands are now using the Congo line strategy to waste time. Okay. So uh a bishop has the ball. I mean, uh, I mean, wasted time in actual football is not illegal, so... Wasting time in actual football is not illegal. Yeah. Now that's a tactic that people use when they were heading football, they just waste time. Yeah, because by like dying on the floor and sliding injured and distracting everyone. Anyway, bish the bishop is passing to Olivia Kiru, who is going to attempt a shot. And it's safe. So, uh, Netherlands have a goal kick again. And it's a successful goal kick. And now the Netherlands are doing the same strategy of uh, wasting time and passing the ball to each other with a Congo line while also attacking. It's an interesting strategy, going in a Congo line and running to the other side of the field while wasting time. Via one block passes and staying in the same spot. Incredible. Right, the French are defending, Dave. The Netherlands have extended their Congo line to be five pieces in a row. The French are defending. Can I have a pause puzzle? Can I have something? What? Why? Don't know, that, that's the strategy they're using. So, uh, Bruce Rabankai successfully passes to a queen. So one of the queen pieces, and the Nether yeah, the French, French have created a wall to stop the Congo line from going through. The, the queen has passed to Van Kuyk, and Van Kuyk has broken past the wall and is soloing the French team. Van Kuyk has broken through the French wall and is now soloing the French defense. But time's up, and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. So we go to extra time. 10 minutes of extra time. So now we can see uh, Van Kuyk, uh, by the way, the Netherlands actually have a free kick because uh, Olivia Kuru committed a foul. So yeah, now we get to see Van Kuyk slide to solo the entire French defense. This is going to go so well. That is a successful free kick to the Netherlands queen piece. And Van Dyke has infiltrated the French as now standing on a red square, which will get him three dice for shooting a goal. And the queen passes to Van Kuyk. Van Kuyk shoots. And he scores a brilliant one two from Van Kuyk and the other queen. Okay, I what? What's going on? I don't know. Well, the Netherlands piece are now celebrating because they just scored. They just scored. It's 1 0 to the Netherlands. If they scored, should they be celebrating? Yeah, because they scored. They scored, of course, to celebrate. They scored. What do you see? That was, that was probably the best goal of the entire tournament. And the goal they just scored was probably the best goal from the entire tournament. For me. In other news, uh, that there was a failed tackle from the Netherlands Queen piece. Alright, France now have six minutes to score a goal, or else they're dead. Anyway, uh, Kirun and Umka- well, France have six minutes to score or else we're gonna lose. Anyway, Umka is going to try to shoot on the goal. But he gets tackled by a Netherlands Queen piece in the box and still won. L. L. And the Netherlands is just a conga line strategy again. And that is a missed pass, so it goes to Kirun. Kirun has a chance to- Kirun, you have four minutes to score now. You have four minutes. The Netherlands pieces are lining up. I mean, the French pieces are lining up to try to score. There, there, there is a 
transfer. And Hewitt immediately misses a pass that goes to the Netherlands corner. Incredible. Uh, France now has two minutes to score an equalizer. And the pawn misses a pass. The same pawn that just got passed the ball by Kiroud misses a pass and passes back to Kiroud by accident. This is the last minute. France have one last chance to score. And, the, and Kiroud loses the ball because the Netherlands Queen piece tackles it away. And that's it. The Netherlands win 1 0. And that, that was the also win the Chess Club World Cup 1 0. You're so enthusiastic. Uh, I don't know, it was a pretty boring final, considering most of the final was the Netherlands wasting time. It was a pretty boring final, okay? Most of the final was just the Netherlands wasting time with the Congo line. <laughs> so, stats. Uh, France, with four passes, 75% accuracy. They had two shots on goal, 0% accuracy. And they also had only one tackle. Wait, can I ask a question? What? Who won? Netherlands. Because all they did was, they spent half of the game wasting time. They do not deserve that. <laughs> anyway, France only had one tackle that was failed. The Netherlands, they dominated possession. They had 18 passes from their wasted time. 83% accuracy, 3 shots on goal with 33% accuracy, and 7 tackles with 57% accuracy. So the piece of the match was uh, Virgil van Kuyk, who was scoring the game winner, despite him also wasting time. So he had four passes, 100% accuracy, three shots, one goal, one tackle, 100% accuracy. So the, with that, the Nels actually win the Chess Football World Cup. So, but uh, before we present the trophy, there's a few other awards to give out as usual. So the five other awards are the Golden King for most goals scored. The Golden Queen, the best player on the winning team. The, golden, the Silver Queen, the best player on the second place team. The Golden Rook. Most sa the goalie that and the golden rook is awarded to the goalie that made the most saves throughout the entire tournament, and the golden pawn is awarded to the best young player of the tournament. So, uh, Olivia Kirud is going to win the Golden King with four goals, and Olivia Kirud claims a second award as he wins the Silver Queen. Anyway, uh, Virgil van Kuyk is going to win the Golden Queen. For uh, scoring the game, winner of that game. He was also the gold best player of the tournament. Uh, Emiliano Martinez from Argentina. Despite not making the final, he still wins the Golden Rook with eight saves in the entire tournament. Most of the biggest from that France Argentina game where he made six saves in a row. And the best young player with the Golden Pawn goes to Julian Kimber, which is a defender age 21 on the Netherlands team. Why is he German? The Netherlands team. What? No, shut up. No, so the Niles are now claiming the trophy. And, like, yeah, you, you can see, like, they're the 17 pieces that you sent. The 17 pieces that they sent to the World Cup celebrating with the trophy. So, uh, the overall rank. Shut up. The overall rank for the team. So, like, you can see, uh, the Netherlands won, obviously, with three matches played, three wins, zero losses, three goals scored, and zero goals, zero times scored on, with Golden for three. And France came second with gold of one. And Netherlands and France are qualified for the Chess Football Super Cup, which is just a rematch of the final that's going to happen later. Argentina came third place with two gold efforts, and Brazil came fourth with ze a zero gold difference. Now, England, and England came fifth with a quarterfinal exit and a minus one goal difference. Belgium came sixth with a minus one goal difference. Spain came seventh with a minus one goal difference. And Germany were the worst team in the tournament, losing in the first round and having a minus three goal difference. L. So because Spain and Germany, since they were the two worst teams in the tournament, they actually got relegated. They won't, they, they got relegated to the Chess Football Intercontinental Playoffs, which just the qualifiers for the next edition of the World Cup, which basically the, the top six teams stay as automatic spots in the next World Cup edition in the 2024 World Cup. But Spain and Germany now have to play the qualifiers because they, they were the two worst teams here. 
And also, if you're wondering why Spain was relegated instead of England and Belgium, despite having the same goal difference, it's because Spain was the worst out of three um, goals scored. So, like, England scored two goals, Belgium scored one, and Spain scored zero. So, despite all of them having the same... Shut up! So, despite all of them having the same goal difference, uh, Spain scored the least goals, so they were, they were, they were, they were, they were the worst team out of three and are going to be relegated. So, uh, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, see you in the next series. Bye.